everybody. My name is Michael DeJoy. I'm the director of institutional sales here at Dash Trader. Um, I'm going to be doing a video today um, where we're going to create a layout for the Dash Trader Pro platform. Um, first thing I'd like to say is that you notice these two little windows popped up. Um, these are from our trade signal software. Uh, it's part of the Dash platform. It's an additional add-on. Um, that basically gives you trading ideas. And I'm just going to spread out this window a little bit more so that you could see the kind of trading ideas. This is a pre-configured trading idea that gives you um, the ability to identify stocks that are uptrending or downtrending. Now, I set this up to be a downtrend list on the five-minute chart. And as you can see, um, it gave me a whole bunch of stock ideas and trading ideas for the day. Um, this one here is the uptrend list. So that's looking for uptrending stocks on the five minute basis. There will be a future upcoming video where I will explain the configuring of this uh, very, very powerful trading tool called the Trade Signal Generator. Um, and um, so I'm just going to put this over here to the side so it doesn't take up too much of my screen space. And um, then I'm going to get started in uh, showing you each and every one of the other windows um, as we go on. And you can see it just keeps on popping up and generating different trading ideas. And one of the stocks that was really in play today was Murner, which in the beginning of the day was, was, was very, very much up on the day. But by the end of the day, the, the trend had, in, uh, had changed direction and started to move on down. So this is a slight, this was a different signal, um, slightly different uh, uh, configuration. So let's get going. I'm going to just go up here to the top window, the top bar. And if you notice, we have a very standard configuration for a Windows driven platform. So you can create a layout, open a new desktop, save a desktop, clear a desktop, change your password, et cetera. Um, you could also open up the window that we're going to do right now, which is the market montage. Now, notice it comes up completely blank. The market is now closed. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in something that's probably going to have some activity still, which is the spy. And you could see the spy comes up its level two is still active. Not only is the market montage your level two screen, uh, where it gives you the depth of the market in different levels, but it's also your OES or order entry screen um, that allows you to, um, to pretty much place your orders, configure your different defaults for order types, et cetera. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next window. So these are all trading related windows. So we're gonna put up an account screen. Now it comes up very big, so I'm just gonna resize it. Every one of the windows are totally resizable. So you can always just kind of grab them at the end of the screen and then shrink them up to the size that, that works best on your monitor or your setup or your layout. Now you could also choose, and the way you do this is just by clicking at the top, okay? So you could say no title bar if you wanna save space always on top if you don't want it to disappear when another window pops up like this window just did or you could display or uh, in tabs okay it's another way for you to configure the data and save some screen space but for right now i'm just going to cancel i'm going to close this down and i'm going to move my level two screen or my market montage down to the bottom i'm going to move it down here and I'm gonna move my account window up here. And it doesn't need to be that big. It, uh, it doesn't need to take up that much space. So I'm just gonna make it very similar to my market montage. I don't need to know all this data, like how many shares I did. I just need to know my account equity and my buying power. So I'm gonna leave it right there. And if you notice it says BP is buying power, equity realized and unrealized. That's my P&L for the day. Sometimes you may even want to cover that up if you don't want to know the details and you want to just trade according to your trading plan. So I'm going to leave it right here at BP. Then I'm going to go to trade. So I got accounts, positions. Okay, I'm just sizing my windows by double click, clicking on the divider. That gives me the ability to size the overall position of the window. And I'm gonna grab this here 
and I'm going to shrink this up. And I'm going to shrink it up as well, because this will show me my P&L on a per position basis during the course of the trading day. I'm going to make my unrealized uh, a little bit bigger. I don't need to know the bid and the ask. I'm going to shrink this up just so it's the same size. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going. So I did my montage, my accounts, my position window. Um, and then this is with closed positions. So if you want to see your closed positions with their P&L and the open positions, you could have just an open positions window. So I'm going to put it on here just for sake of us keeping track of all of our data in one place. I'm going to shrink this up as well. Notice the font size is different because you can really configure the change of your, uh, the, the size of your fonts and change it on a window by window basis. Each, each window can have a different font size um, if you wanted to do that. So it's very, very customizable. And again, to size the individual columns, you just double click on them and then it fills the entire column. And if you want to grab a column, you could also move the columns around. Go to configure. I'm going to move shares. I'm going to move that down. And I'm going to hit OK. And now what I've done is I've moved my, my shares window all the way to the end. OK, just to, to keep it, uh, you know, I don't know why you'd want to do it, but just to show you how to do it. OK, so let's continue with the trade window. We got position, so let's see our orders window. Okay, let's shrink this up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the window above it to measure the size of this so that it's all equal and relatively the same size. Okay, so we got our account window, our positions window, our other positions window and our orders window, okay. And there you have it, okay? Trade window, positions, short list, okay? This is how many, whatever your trade activity was, your short list, your triggered orders. Um, you got a whole bunch of other options in here, like reports. Some of these things are not on the standard software. This is a, a manager version. Um, I'm gonna bring out the market viewer. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do market viewer, and I'm gonna do the Nas. I'm gonna do the Dow 30. Okay, so there now what I just did is I just brought up the entire Dow 30, right? And I had all the stocks that make up the Dow 30, and I don't need to see all this data. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this up so that I just have the data I need, which is the open. Uh, the change and the last trade. Okay, I'm going to bring that right here. And I'm even going to shrink it up a little bit more. I'm going to bring it in here. And I'm just going to move it over to here. Just so I have a nice easy list. And I'm going to show you what I can do as well in a second. So that's that. So the next thing that you should have next to your level two screen is you should have a time and sales. Okay, so time and sales, I just brought my time and sales up. I'm gonna put it next to my market montage. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I don't need to have so, so much, um, so much space taken up by it. And I'd like to keep everything uniform. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make these windows a little bit bigger just to make it uniformed. You can see how my alerts just keep popping up there. So if I'm looking for trading ideas, Got no shortage of trading ideas with the trade signal uh, generator. Um, so here you have it. So you got your level two screen. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this little anchor onto my time and sales. And you can see once I drag the anchor, I can see the, the time, the size of the trade. I'm gonna make this a little, move this over a little bit so I get more of the time and less dead space. Okay, so so far I have a really cool window. Now look, if I click here on, on this, I click here, 
on Apple, on American Express, on Boeing, it changes all my windows. Okay, Caterpillar, it changes all my windows when I do that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I've, I've already opened my, my trade, all my different trade-related windows. I'm going to go to my quote-related windows. And uh, the, the most important quote-related window, of course, is your chart. Now, look, if you notice, my chart pops up, but it has no symbol in it. So a very easy way to populate the chart is you just grab the anchor and drop the anchor in it. Now I have Caterpillar. Now what I've done here is this is a very vanilla chart. It has no data or analytics to it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so I have a little bit of size. Now I've saved a pre-configured chart. So once you make up the charts the way you like to look at them, you just go load settings, and if you notice, it says Mike chart right there. That's Mike's chart, which I've already saved. And I'm gonna go through how we can change it and adjust it, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna hit open. And now I have a chart with a 10 period moving average, a 20 period moving average, and a 50 period moving average. And I got, a, got them color coded. The blue one is my 10 period. The, uh, I would say that's the pinkish uh, color is 20 and then the yellow one is the 50. Now I'm gonna zoom in, I use my arrow keys to zoom in, zoom out. Now notice I can also very easily change the time frame from a, to a one minute, to a two minute, to a five minute, to a daily, okay? And now I have a daily chart as well, and you can see Caterpillar put in a bottom, a little double bottom, and now it's breaking out above the moving averages, you know, really cool technical, technical pattern. Now, what I always like to do is I like to have my daily chart, okay, um, somewhere in a, in a spot that is easily recognizable, easy to see, okay, and um, I have my daily chart. I'm going to put my daily chart right up here, and I'm going to fill in this block of space above my uh, trade signal windows, okay. So my daily chart is gonna fill in that space right above the trade signal windows. Okay, I'm gonna move this down. I'm gonna fill in this spot over here. Okay, so there we have it. So we have our daily chart up here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up another chart window. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just bring this again, the thing, same thing I did before. I'm gonna drag my arrow, okay? And then I'm gonna right click and go to load settings and bring up the mic chart. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my mic chart here next to my level two screen. And what I like to do is I like to have a, a small time frame chart. I'm actually gonna move two things around. So I'm gonna take this symbol list and put it up here. And then I'm gonna put this chart right next to my level two screen, filling in this spot on my screen so that I have next to my smallest trades that have not yet happened, my bids and my offers, the trades that did happen, my time and sales, right? Those are executed trades in your time and sales. And then of course I have my actual chart window here where I'm going to leave this as a five minute chart in this instance. Okay. And then I'm going to have my list of stocks that I like to trade just for the sake of, of this example. I got my Dow 30 here and I'm going to bring up a couple of other lists, but now I have a nice five minute small time frame with my daily up here and I have my entire list of stocks over here. Now I could do one other thing if I want to maximize my space a little bit put up one more time frame of chart i'm going to go and i'm just going to bring up my i can do this i can go to tools okay i can see what else i have here i can do my trade signal that's where i get it um i can put my market clock on here which is never a bad thing to have somewhere on the screen just because you want to be able to access it easily so look if i want to find a nice spot for my market clock Okay, I could just basically put it in up here. I could also right click on the market clock, 
and I could change my text size. Okay, let's just see what we do. So we could change the color, the background color as well. So we can make it black like everything else. Make the text color. To really stand out. Okay, so we got our text color in there. So then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back one more time, bring up a chart. Okay. I just brought up my SPY. I'm going to load my settings in here. Okay, I'm going to go to my mic chart. Okay, and on my mic chart, I'm going to put this into the 15 minute. Now you will change your time frames during the trading day. Okay, so you're not always going to be looking, you know, at the one minute or the five minute. And I'm going to show you the way we like to do that um, as traders. We like to have the smaller time frames closer to our OES. Okay, I'm just going to fill in this blank right here. And I like to utilize my entire screen. So I have no dead space on my screen as well. So I'm gonna just fill in this spot right here. Okay, so now I have my full screen, my entire screen filled up. I'm gonna use my anchor to make sure that this is all connected. All right, so now I'm looking at, so if I wanna look at the one minute in the very early morning, I have my one minute. Maybe I can change this to the five minute. And then I have my daily here, or maybe I wanna use my 15 minute here. And as the day goes on, I switch it to my daily, switch this to my 15 minute, and I switch this to my five minute or even my two minute, whichever one works best. Now, what I want to show you is if I want to go through a bunch of stocks real quick, I got Apple, right? I can also use my arrow keys to kind of tab through this. Okay, so I can go through a bunch of stocks real fast. And this, I just use the Dow 30 and it changes all my time frame windows. Even if I wanted to go and look at some of these alerts that are pop popping up, okay, I can go through those or I can just close the window down. Okay, now when you're done with doing all this hard work, the one thing that is the most important thing for you to do is to just go to file and then save desktop. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this. MJD, and this is my side screen. Okay, MJD side screen one. Okay, and I'm just going to hit save. And now, what I did is I created a very nice trading layout for my side screen. Um, and this is my portable uh, one. Uh, one monitor, one extra monitor on my laptop portable side screen. And, um, and you should always lay, if you notice some of the other things that I have in here, I have, if I go to open desktop, I'm not going to actually open the desktop, but I also have Mike's big screen, MJD layout one, MJD dark, you know, dark desktop, side screen, um, you know, MJD trade, Big screen. I have big screen because what it is is a it's a television that I use as an extra monitor um, when I'm in a certain office. So I've made a lot of different layouts for different screens and different screen configurations, and it's a good idea to always do that. Um, so hopefully you found um, this basic layout session helpful, and uh, I am going to go through all the different chart functionality. I'm going to go through the level two functionality. I'm going to go through 
all the different features and functions of the DAS Trader Pro platform in the upcoming series. Um, and you guys will be able to uh, find those future educational videos. They'll be posted each and every week. Um, I look forward to you giving me comments, questions, um, and obviously, um, you know, anything that you want me to cover, you can certainly let me know. Just email me at mike at dastrader.com. That's again, M-I-K-E at D-A-S-T-R-A-D-E-R.com. And um, I look forward to hearing from you and I wish you all the best in your trading. Have a great day. Thank you.